Hi guys, Alberto here. You're watching the Bedroom Rocker YouTube channel. And today we are taking a look at the Flashback 2 Mini Delay by TC Electronic. As usual, I'm gonna start by playing the pedal over a backing track using several different settings. Then I'm gonna show you the main specifications and features of the pedal, including tone print app and the mesh function. Then a couple more sound clips. And finally, we move on to the review part. So grab a drink, sit tight and let's go. The TC Electronic Flashback is probably one of the best selling delay pedals of all times. So of course TC Electronic had to come up with a second version and later a second version Mini, which is the unit I have here. The main difference from the first to the second version is that with the second version you get additional tone prints and also the mesh functionality. The mesh function basically means that the foot switch is a pressure sensitive knob that you can use as an expression pedal to alter the sound of your delay. So in the introduction I have used the mesh function to increase the feedback and also to add shimmer to the delay repeats. By using the tone print editor you can basically assign a number of different functions to the, to the foot switch or to the mesh switch. The pedal has got three controls for the delay time, level and feedback or repeat. It is obviously a digital pedal and you have one delay algorithm is stored inside of the pedal. The trick is that you can then use the tone print app to change the algorithm that is stored in the pedal and this way you can achieve hundreds of different delay sounds with the same unit. This is to me the strongest point of the pedal and what makes it very powerful even though it's still very compact and affordable. So you get uh, digital emulations of most classic delay types like tape, or analog bucket brigade delay and also some digital emulations with crazy shimmer, flanger and all kinds of crazy stuff added to it. Now let's use the tone print mobile app to bring different delay sounds into the pedal. Right now I have the default sound set up which sounds like this. <laughs> So let's open the tone print app. 
Here I can select the TC Electronic Flashback 2 Mini Delay. In the library I have a bunch of different tone prints from different artists and under templates I have a bunch of different tone prints from TC Electronic. You can then save them into your favorites and here I want to use a reverse delay by TC Electronic and then I just have to increase my phone volume to the maximum, click beam to pedal and then place my phone speaker close to the guitar pickup. And if the pedal flashed green, this means that the transfer worked and now I should have a reverse delay sound stored into the pedal. So let me know what you think about the TC Electronic Flashback 2 Mini Delay. As I said, I really like the sounds of this pedal. It retails for about 85 euros here in Germany. And in my opinion, at this price point, this unit is unbeatable. You get a really good quality pedal, a really robust enclosure, hundreds of different delay sounds to experiment with. And then you also get the differentiation of the mesh foot switch which really adds another level of expression capabilities to the pedal. Another thing I really like about the pedal and about this electronics tone print technology in general is that you can get involved with it at so many different levels. So the default algorithm in this pedal is awesome and I could just use this as a regular three knob delay and be happy with it. However, if you want to go one level further, you can use the mobile app to bring different delay algorithms into the pedal and try out different delay textures. This is how I use the pedal the most. However, if you want to go even one level further and completely nerd out about it, you can hook up the pedal using the USB connection into your phone, tablet or computer and then use the app to deep dive into settings. And if you use this method, you have access to way more settings than usual. You get really a lot of flexibility in dialing your sound. And you can also assign different parameters to each one of the knobs and to the mesh foot switch. I haven't tried this yet, but if that's something interesting to you, do let me know, write down in the comment sections below and I can make a separate video on that. One of the issues that I have with this pedal is that I kind of regret not getting its bigger brother, the Flashback 2 Delay. 
The bigger brother goes for about 110 euros, so it is a bit more expensive and it also takes a bit more pedalboard real estate. But it has stereo capabilities, it has an additional switch for the delay subdivisions, and to me the most important thing is that it has an additional rotary knob where you can pre-store 11 of your favorite tone prints or delay algorithms. And of course in the studio it is very cool to use your phone to beam the different tone prints into the pedal, but this is not as practical as having a dedicated rotary knob to quickly switch between them. So I would say if you are struggling between these two, if you want to save money and save pedalboard real estate, the Mini is probably the best option. But if you can afford going to the bigger brother, I think it is worth it. And delay is also such an important core effect for so many guitar players, and it deserves a bit of space in your pedalboard. So that's it for today. I hope the video was helpful and fun to watch. If that's the case, please make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see more guitar and gear related content, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Finally, if you want to support the channel, also make sure to check the affiliate links in the description box below. There you can find the link to the TC Electronic Flashback 2 Mini Delay and other gear that I like and use. And if you use them, I earn a 1% commission that really helps me to get more products and making reviews like this one at no additional cost for you. Keep on rocking and cheers! Thank <laughs> you.